part I so pretty much done except for a few things. Just to be safe, we ha I this looks confusing. You could probably simplify this with a switch statement. All this you could probably simplify with a switch statement, but we just wrote out manually. That's fine. But these if statements, they should be if else statements. Just in case, because we only want one of these to execute at any point. So by using if else, it will prevent more than one from ever executing and messing up our database. So else this should be else else if and uh, Zara one, two, three, four. All right. So now what is missing? Well, for one, this fucking shit, the arrows are the same color. So let's change that. Come to file.php. Um, say here. Okay. Up here, we need to set the variables, set some variables like this. Vote up equals vote up dot jpeg now we're gonna use these variables here as the source names and I'll show you why in a second but come down here open some PHP tags echo vote up there you go should be down. Now, hold on, I can hear something. What am I hearing? Okay, actually, move these down here. Let's work down here. Now, these are variables. What we're going to do now is a query to determine if this user has voted. And if they have, then this variable source will change to voted up, which is our orange arrow, or voted down, which will change what this is. So let's do that. Discover if OIP has voted. So write a query. Select all from votes where IP equals IP and just like we did on process vote what's well actually the same exact query such so as copy it and tags like tags up or tags down we have to check for both since that we just did that here let's execute or copy all this right here Hope I'm not moving too fast. Sorry. Prepare point value IP tags up, tags down, execute. Now we actually don't need this right now. If the rows found is one, that means the user has voted. So if this returns true, then that means he either voted up or down. We need to figure out which he did. So now we fetch our data. So now we can access the tags field. So what we're going to do is use a PHP function called pregmatch and we're going to see if we can match up the ID and then up. And you 
do that like this row tags and I'm output it to a variable called m which doesn't really matter and here two slashes and now comma comma right because all vote is wrapped around commas now break out of that row ID and then up. So if up is found in the vote, then vote up. We're going to override this variable. Voted up dot jpeg. Now we're going to do the opposite for down. So copy this else if this will be down. Copy this here. Down. Voted. Down. So if user has voted, determine de uh, if up or down. Right. So let's save it and see if, whoops, save it, see if it has worked. To this shit. Refresh. Okay. ID, ID. Come back here. Let's see what we did wrong here. Okay, this isn't set, that's why. So this should be row ID. You can also use get ID, doesn't matter. Oh, whoops. Yeah, yeah. Row ID. And then IP, it's not even set, I think. Yeah, it isn't. So just copy this, we'll write it. This is how you get the IP. There you go. Save it. Now the shit should work. Bam. See, we voted up on this one. Let's see this this god potter. We voted. Huh, did we vote up on there? Godfather. Godfather we voted. Two should be down. So what did we mess up here? Well, what did you mess up? Let's say here. up in one more video. Know what I'm saying?